Well, by our check, there hasn't been a brand new from the ground up resort built in downtown Las Vegas for decades, but we're getting a sneak peek at what Derek Stevens has on the drawing board for the site where the old Las Vegas club once stood. You know, that club is now history. It's gone. And what's next could redefine Fremont Street. New at six, our Jeff Gillen joins us live from downtown. Jeff, exciting. This is a great eclectic part of our valley, and it's fun to know something new's coming, too. Yeah, absolutely, Reed. This is going to be really cool. But for people who don't know who Derek Stevens is, he, he owns the D behind me. He owns the Golden Gate right over there. He's about to unveil behind me downtown's next big thing. This is what you saw in November. This is what you see today. The old and worn Las Vegas club is now a ghost. And tourist Steve Deer, who comes here a lot from Minneapolis, says about time. I want something new down here, so I love nostalgic, but some things just need to be replaced. The guy doing the replacing is resort owner Derek Stevens. Oh, we've been working on the design now for about a year and a half. So I would say we're, uh, we're, we're, we're down down that road pretty, pretty far. That was six months ago. Stevens wasn't talking today, but here's what he's taking to the Las Vegas Planning Commission tomorrow. A new resort, the drawings say about 60 stories, 777 hotel rooms with a 117,000 square foot casino. Gaming expert Dave Schwartz. It's huge news. It's going to be an infusion of a whole new gaming product, a whole new casino down there, and it could really define a lot of what Fremont Street is. What Fremont Street is, is older. By our count, the last brand new resort, which is now the D, went up in 1980. Something new would be an economic boost, large and small. Jerome Davis is on the rodeo circuit, came here for PBR. He comes down here. For the people that get injured, uh, the guys that are riding, all this money goes back into them for therapy, for machines, anything I do, I do it on my free time to help back out. He's looking at the prospect in a few years of standing on one hot corner with something new behind him. It'll be good, it'll, it'll probably double what we make now, so it'll be really good. And good for Las Vegas, as this goes here. And back now live. So remember, next stop tomorrow night, the Las Vegas Planning Commission. And then on June 20th, this will go before Las Vegas City Council. Live in Las Vegas, I'm Jeff Gillen, News 3. Jim, back to you.